For this video, I'll go over how to use the switches, and we have the A10C module up here, uh, and we'll focus in on the armament panel down here. Um, since this has uh, a couple three-way switches, such as this master arm, as well as some two-way switches, uh, such as the HUD mode for day and night. Uh, so let me grab two switch inputs. We'll do one for the master arm, uh, and we can even put in some text here. And one for the, uh, we'll just say day night. And get that to fit on the screen. Uh, so to set the uh, variables for a switch, this is done in, in both the DCS command and the image state change. So within DCS command, it has a button ID and device ID, which is identifies what you want to press. Uh, and then it has values for what you want pressed when transitioning from this first state to the second state and vice versa from the second state to this first state. Uh, and the only way it can change uh, between states is via this <clears throat> image state change uh, settings here. So this monitors a DCS ID value. And as it's set now, if it's greater than zero, it will change to the second state. So we need the, uh, we need to monitor the, the value of these uh, switches um, to instigate this change as well. So uh, since these are just clickable items in the cockpit and it's the clickable item itself that's changing that we want to monitor, we can do this all through the ID lookup uh, table. So for the A10C, uh, let's do the HUD day-night mode first because it's just a two-way switch. Uh, it's a bit simpler. So uh, as we see here, let's select this one. So it has two rows, uh, one with a positive value and one with a negative value. So that's just corresponding to the left and right click to go up and down uh, options here. So you can see it has a range of zero to one, and those are just the two possible values that this switch can have. Uh, so what we want to do, and oh, one other thing is, so here's the button ID 3006, the device ID seven, and then the DS DCS ID 380. Uh, so what we can do is we can just use these convenience import buttons here uh, and say for going from the first to second state, we want the positive one. So let's do that to import. And for this, we want the negative direction. Uh, and this will, these buttons also import to the image state, the 380 at the same time. Uh, and you probably saw that this switched the up direction uh, because that's what the switch currently is. Uh, so if I press the Stream Deck button physically right now, you can see that it'll switch from day to night mode and back to day. So that was the two-way switch handling, and now let's look at the uh, master arm switch. Uh, so this has three states it can attain, uh, train, safe, and arm, and uh, what I want to do is we only have two states here actually so um, I really don't plan to use train so I'll just have this go between safe and arm uh, but let's go through the same steps as the last switch uh, so let's search for master arm there it is and you'll see that the range is now listed as between 0 and 0 0.2 uh, with a click value um, of 0 0.1 so this is actually saying that there's three possible values, 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Uh, and then again, these are the positive and negative direction. And um, since the, the clicking of the button is, um, allowing, is allowed to increment it, so if I click down, I can cycle through the values. Um, that's why the 0 0.1 uh, and negative 0 0.1 are listed. Uh, 
And so we will import those again, the same way we did before, so positive to this guy, and you see that um, this gets imported as well, so it switches up, and the negative, let's import to the other state. And let's look at these values. So now if I press the Stream Deck button, button physically, you'll see it goes to train and safe. Uh, so the reason it's doing that is these are actually the absolute values. Um, and when negative 0.1 is requested, that's outside the range, so it just goes to the lowest value, which is 0.0. .0. So this should really be uh, 0, 0.0 for train. And now if, if we want to train and safe, uh, that's what this would be. And so that works there. Um, but we actually want safe and master arm. So let's set this lower one to 0 0.1 and this one to 0 0.2 for arm. So now if I press the button again, it'll go up to master arm, which is what I want. And it'll go down to safe here. But now when I'm in safe, if I try pressing it again, it won't do anything. Um, you see it tries to go down, but it's it's stuck up here. Um, and it's not agreeing with, with this uh, position either. And the reason is what it's looking at is that value, 0, 0 0.1, or 0 0.2, and it's comparing it if it's greater than 0 here. So this no longer um, satisfies the condition we want to achieve. So what we want to see is that the value is greater than 0 0.1. Uh, and it's in the down position now. So now we can go between arm and safe and it reacts appropriately. One other thing to note uh, here is that the configuration in the DCS export script for these switches uh, the default is set to do the low tick interval, which has these um, updates of the switches at every 0.5 seconds. Um, but I found setting this to 0 0.1 um, gives a, a much faster response um, to this. It's not as noticeably laggy at all. So uh, I haven't seen really any slowdown in doing this, um, but that seems to be better performance.